Well, just take a seat. Thank you. And welcome home again. Ah, it's great to be back. <laughs> the, the home of uh, the best restorations in the world. Thank you for that. Of course. So, well, how is the car feeling and how is everything? I mean, when you receive the well, it's, people it's, saying... You know, it's been an amazing process to have followed uh, the, whole, the whole journey of the restoration mm -hmm. through, uh, through, through what you did from all the things that we discovered about the car, the, the hidden things. I mean, when you take a car from mm -hmm. the mid 90s and you try to restore it in an original way, the, thing, the small details that you were able to find, the parts you were able to replace with original Ferrari parts well, following really this through achieve, uh, was exciting. But then to see the finished product, to see how beautifully done the, the handwork was, the fact that all the nuts and bolts were done, it was just done to perfection. Um, it was better than I, I could have dreamed of, in all honesty. Thank you very much for that. Really nice work. <laughs> Why? Wow, I mean, uh, you know, you have to give praise where, where it's due. Um, there's, there's been so many things. I mean, I, I fell in love with, uh, you know, with the Ferrari 355 many, many years ago, yeah, um, when I was beginning my racing career. And then to have finally bought one and to have restored it in, a, in such a beautiful way. So where, where you have been racing? I mean, for the guys that we will, they will look the video. So James Rossiter, where, sure. when starts racing and where you are now? So for me, I started racing uh, when I was 18 in Formula Renault, uh, then in Formula 3 when I was 19. I started in Formula 1 as a test driver. Already I had my first Formula 1 test in 2004 when I was yeah. just 20 years old. Um, and then I was a test driver for about seven years in Formula 1. I then moved to Japan and raced in Japan for Toyota, racing in Super GT, Super Formula, raced also in the World Endurance Championship, raced in America um, for Andretti, managed to, to have a career where I, I got to racing all the great championships all over the world. Right now I'm racing for Peugeot in, uh, in Hypercar in the World Endurance Championship and mm -hmm. for Le Mans and also working for DS in Formula E. Yeah, so it's such a long career. That's it's been a long career so far, it's covering, <laughs> covering the globe and, uh, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, the roots of why I have a Ferrari 355 actually goes back to the beginning of my career. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to one gentleman called Ian Clarkson who uh, at the beginning of my career, you know, uh, we couldn't afford to go racing. Uh, so I needed to get creative in finding yeah. the, the funding to, to race. And I met this gentleman, Ian Clarkson, who, who was playing golf with my father. All right. we then, uh, I then uh, had a lunch with him in London near his mm -hmm. office and spoke to him about my dreams uh, as a 17-year-old, 18-year-old uh, young man. And he was very supportive. He had a, th a 355 Challenge car. Cool. Yeah. And he invited me to come to coach him at Donington Park. It was a circuit that I knew a little bit from, from the beginning of my racing mm -hmm. career. And I turned up there and I went out and I drove his 355 mm -hmm. Challenge car. I got to when feel the car, feel people. what it was like, how it was yeah. behaving. And then I coached him for the day. And it was at a time when the 360 had just come out. Mm -hmm. So there were all these guys there with their new 360s and, and Ian ended up being the fastest driver of the day in his 355. Fast in all the 360s and this for him were, was amazing. Yeah. But for me what was incredible was following that up, he then came to the next race in Formula Renault and he then offered to financially support my career. So I've had a very long career mm -hmm. but none of it would have been possible without Ian Clarkson right. and none of it would have been possible without a Ferrari 355 <laughs> and that's why so I ended up having one. It was, yes, it was, you know, it's uh, it's my dream car because yeah, of right. that, because it, it made my dreams become reality, honestly, this car. So it's why it means so much to me and why it means so much for all the work that you've done here. So then I have to give you the notice and the big. <coughs> okay. That, so thanks to you that you let me your appreciate 355 so I could ask Anna to marry me. Yes. And she definitely say yes. So it was a congratulations, really, by the way. <laughs> a really um, amazing experience for for us, for for her, and 
And well, to say thank you for that, and I know that this guy is that special for you that I want to give you something they have in the office. So if you hang on okay. a second. Nervous. What's he going to give me? <laughs> so you will never imagine that you will have such a thing in your home. Wow. So I let you open. Okay. Just on the side. No way. Oh my God. Be careful, it opens. I'm... You can remove the... I'm speechless. That is <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful example. You know, it's... Oh my God. Your car. It's my car. It's your car. It's really my car. With your number plates on it, and it's made on purpose to have uh, the roof. It's handmade one for you. That, that's... <laughs> I'm... Yeah, I'm speechless. You know, I've been looking for a, a one of these, I looked all over the world. I even went to the, the car show in Paris and was looking for a model of a 355 and so I couldn't find it see. anywhere. Let me open for you. So you have the plate that it also has registered the ATEC. Yeah, uh, the ATEC number. number. And then Just in everything. case you guys can't see that. <laughs> So everything opens, everything has the details as same as your engine, so everything is painted and wow. repaired as, as yours. That's truly, truly incredible. So. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know what to say. No. Thank no you. Problem. <laughs> thank you for making uh, one of my dreams come true. Thank you to you to trust on us. So, well, the F355 chapter that uh, it will be in YouTube of everything that we recorded of your car, the procedure of uh, the ring and everything. So for people to see uh, our work, the way we work. So here we have a customer that had the experience and well. I think it's beautiful that you do these videos and I really hope you guys love it and enjoy it. And you know, all you guys that are passionate about classic cars, restorations, and living your dream, this is a great place to do it. Well, mate, thank you very much. Thanks.